By about 10 years old, I'd done about 100 television commercials and 35 voiceovers. I sang and danced. I was on Broadway. I had enough money. Uh, I can't say I'd have made, you know, millions of dollars, but I had enough money for a, a young single girl living in Manhattan to do kind of whatever I wanted to do. Studio 54 days, we're talking clubs and nightclubs. They would usher us in because we were on TV and, you know, I, I walked the red carpet. I did all of that stuff. I, I dated celebrities, but uh, still there was that void inside of me. I began doing drugs kind of on a regular basis. Eventually, I ended up in two rehabs. Um, the first one, I was still convinced that just because I, you know, I did drugs, I could still drink. Um, so I had to learn that the hard way and end up in another rehab. I remember that night in the rehab intake room when I said, God, you know, I, I need you. I had to find out who God was. So I began searching. Um, I, Buddhism, Taoism, I read all sorts of things, self-help books. But the funny thing is, every time I earnestly prayed, God, you know, I just want to know the truth, a Christian would show up. And uh, I really didn't like Christians very much. I, I kind of thought they were sort of, I don't know, Bible-thumping, judgmental sort of people. Except I had a problem. My brother um, had become born again and I just watched his life change. But he never preached at me. He just lived his life as an example. And one day I was sitting at the table with my brother and I said, I don't really understand, but I'm a house in the country. I have a great career. I, I'm dating a rock star and I'm still not happy. He looked up from his newspaper and he said, well, maybe you need to get saved. <laughs> and I looked at him and I thought about it for a moment and I said, nah, no. <laughs> It's not for me. I went to see the movie The Beauty and the Beast. And uh, in that movie, love changes the beast. And I remember thinking about this on the way home, how that sort of touched something in me. And that night when I got home, I got on my knees and I asked God. I said, God, just, you know, zap me, do whatever you do. But I'm, I'm open and I'm willing. When I just basically decided to cross that line, and allow Jesus specifically to come into my heart. And in that moment alone in my bedroom, I just remember that feeling of the peace. When I was on my spiritual quest for truth, I was just looking to fill the void. And um, I read a lot of things and a lot of different books and a lot of different kinds of religion, but they just didn't, nothing really filled that, that void in my heart. And that's what I was really looking for. I was looking to, to find peace and contentment. And there wasn't anything but, but Christ that offered that to me until I found Christ, until I had that experience for myself. Um, it was almost like fitting a round peg in a square hole. I've always had that um, desire from the day I got saved, just to tell people uh, what happened to me and to just, to, just to explain that, hey, you know, if you have a hole in your heart and you feel the way I do, I know the answer, you know, Christ, Jesus Christ can fill that void for you if you let him, if you surrender. Yes and amen to what Lisa just said. Let Christ into your heart today. I love that picture that all of us have a hole in our heart. It's a God-sized hole and only God himself can fill it. And let's be honest, oftentimes we try to fill that God-sized hole with other things that are not God, whether that's other relationships, fame, fortune, ambition, we're chasing our ambitions that keep us tired and weary. We're chasing after money. We think that having a certain number in our bank account is what's really going to make us happy. We think, oh, once we get married and once we have a family, then I'll be happy. Once I get healed, once this happens, once that happens, then I'll be happy. Friends, none of that is going to bring you true peace and joy and love 
in your hearts. It is only through and by a relationship with Jesus Christ. Jesus is not only your savior, your deliverer, your redeemer, our Messiah, he's your friend. He loves you with an everlasting love. He loves you with a love that is without rival. He knit you, Father God, your Father God, your everlasting Father, your Abba. He knit you together in your mother's womb. He knows every hair on your head. He knows you better than you know yourself. He knows you better than any other person in your life thinks they know you. He knows what's gonna make you happy and he wants you to be happy. And he knows that that comes through him. It's a life surrendered. It's a life laid down saying, just like Lisa did, God, if you're real, come, come into my life, change me. A lot of us have that moment where we're searching endlessly and we just can't seem to, to get life together or be happy. But it's in that moment of surrender of really just giving God a chance that true life begins. Righteousness, peace, and joy is the way. Follow Jesus today. I feel like a lot of people are watching and you're on the fence. And let me just encourage you. Let me just speak life into you and just say as a friend to another friend, give God a chance today. It's really simple. We try to overcomplicate it so many times. All you have to do is say, Jesus, if you're real, come into my life. Show yourself to me, Lord, and I will follow you. The word says all we have to do is believe in our hearts and declare with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and we are saved. And he doesn't stop there. We gain salvation in that moment, but then he starts to transform our lives in, from the inside out. So if you wanna give Jesus a chance today, please do, please pray with me right now. Father God, I cry out to you, Abba, Abba, hear my cry. Jesus, I believe in you. Jesus, I believe that you walked on this earth, that you died on the cross for my sins and you resurrected three days later and that same resurrection power lives in me. I believe in my heart and I declare with my mouth right now that Jesus is Lord. Be Lord over my life, Lord. Be my beloved from this moment forward. Lord, I turn from my ways and I say, come into my heart, fill that void, Jesus. I need you and I want you. I surrender my life to you right now, God. Make me a new creation in you, Jesus. Cleanse me from any wickedness, from any sin in my heart. Search me, oh God, and cleanse me. Thank you for what you're doing in my life from this moment forward, God. Again, I just pray that you transform my life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Friends, if you just prayed that prayer with me, from this moment forward, you are a new creation in Christ. Give us a call, 1-800-700-7000, to tell somebody you just gave your life to Jesus. Hey everyone, I'm Ashley Key. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so we can reach more people with encouraging content like you just watched and so you never miss a beat. See you next time and God bless.